Today we're going to be taking a look at Smoltron, a free text editor for Mac OS X. We'll begin by opening Safari and going to www.tuppis.com slash Smoltron. The icon for Smoltron is a strawberry because the developer, Peter Borg, is Swedish and Smoltron in Swedish translates to strawberry. Look for the download link and click to download the latest version. You will be directed to a source for download page. Simply allow it to load and it should automatically download the file. I won't make you wait for this to download. Because Smoltron is not a packaged file but simply an app, all we have to do is open our applications folder and drag Smoltron right in. Upon opening the application, we must confirm that we want to open it. Because we've downloaded it from a trusted source, click Open. We begin with a very basic Cocoa application layout with the files listed on the left, the text editing area on the right, and the toolbar on the top. For demonstration purposes, I've created a few files. index.html, page.php, script.js, and style.css. You'll notice that the icons in the file pane on the left are resizable with this slider, and they use Quick Look to give you a preview of what the file is. In index.html, our file extension is HTML, so Smoltron will syntax highlight for HTML code automatically. In style.css, Smoltron will syntax highlight differently for CSS, and in script.js, it highlights accordingly. The default colors used for syntax highlighting are customizable in the Smoltron preferences pane. As for the toolbar, Smoltron's default layout is as follows. New, open, save, and close all expect as one might behave them to. Live find allows you to instantly find any word such as jQuery in your file and the advanced find button brings up a dialog box with options such as find and replace, regular expressions, which documents to search, and more. If you right click or option click on the toolbar and select customize toolbar you can choose one of two more custom Smoltron buttons. Function and preview are not in the default set, but we can drag them in because we want to use them. Smoltron supports browsing a document by functions. In page.php, if we click function, we can easily find retrieve password without having to look through this long document. The preview button will bring up a window where you can preview the current document without having to commit to changes by saving the file. If you'll notice, we have an image here with a relative link. Because of this, it does not show up correctly in the preview. To account for this, we simply type the base URL for our site that we are editing and hit enter or click reload. Smoltron will automatically update the preview window and turn those relative links into usable ones to bring in images, style sheets, and anything else that would be an HTTP request. Smoltron also supports split view coding, so you can view one document while typing in another all in the same window. Hit command apostrophe to enable or disable horizontal split view. Hit command option apostrophe to enable or disable vertical split view. Use the file pane on the left to navigate the open files in the primary split view area and the pop-up option box on the bottom to navigate for the secondary split view area. These are just a few of the many special features that Smoltron has to offer and the best part is that it's free. Smoltron is an open source application hosted on SourceForge, licensed under the GNU General Public License. I highly recommend downloading Smoltron and giving it a try before spending money on any commercial application.